Hello, welcome back. Uh, we continue uh, from the last uh, video uh, after we create uh, all the instance for the name the pizza. Uh, this video will create uh, our data type uh, restriction that every pizza, pizza has uh, caloric content. So let's uh, do this uh, here. Uh, so first is uh, uh, navigate back to the classes major tab. So we uh, we were in this individual by class. Now we back to entity and go to the class major tab. Select the pizza tab class. Click plus icon next to the subclass of in the description. So ensure here is uh, description pizza. And from here, let's uh, click plus. This time, let's use the data restriction creator. So it's this one, data restriction, navigate, and select the highest uh, caloric content in the restricted property view in the restriction failure. So let's make that uh, larger, uh, but not, not so many. Uh, so wide, and uh, scroll down to the integer. So do this, it's this one. Uh, and the restriction type should be set to the default, which is uh, sum. If it doesn't use the menu to change it, uh, your UI should look at the 5.6, like this one. So let's compare. Yes. Uh, and then click OK. So here is uh, notice the right part is uh, still in the data type. Uh, Part. Let's click uh, pizza again. Now you can see has the caloric content sum with this uh, data type integer. Note you also could have select uh, exactly one because our pizza can only uh, have uh, one caloric content. But since you already defined the property to be functional, so uh, you don't need to make that exact one. So what's that mean? So, We can use this exact, exactly one, but we don't need. So let's uh, back to here. The nice thing is the reasoner lets you not worry to so many about that. Let's uh, save and do the reasoner, synchronize. So every pizza now has a caloric content, some integer because they inherit from uh, the pizza class. So you can see here, we have now st stated that every pizza has a caloric content, and that, that content must be an integer. In addition to use the predefined set of data type, we can further specify the specialized use of the data type by specifying restriction of the possible value. For example, it's easy to specify our range of value for a number. So that is the thing. So uh, let's uh, uh, stop here for this uh, exercise uh, 31. Uh, and we will move to the last uh, exercise of uh, chapter 5 uh, in next video. Thank you for watching.